This video is for the demo of a game called The Book Walker Thief of Tales. The full screen is not full screen exclusive. So you don't want to drop the resolution below your monitor's native. <clears throat> the only time you'd probably want to adjust this would probably be if you had full screen turned off and you were wanting to play it inside a window. We have a music volume and a main volume and that is all we have there and that's pretty much all your settings. So yeah, I uh, I don't know much about this game. I didn't, I know it's a turn-based strategy, turn-based combat. That's that's all I know at the moment. So let's see how it's played. Uh, okay, well, this is weird so far. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it's not 
it's easier to get a new one. Well, uh, it's a bit weird, not for sure. Hmm. Use ink to heal myself. Unable to heal my knee. Uh, Okay. Well, wow, this is definitely a strange game. There's something there. You're lucky they might. Here's the potion of the method. 
take all mushrooms. Contains 10 ink. They don't look edible. There's absolutely no reason to risk it. Um, I mean, I, I guess that's what ink is, but... We, you, said, you mentioned something about ink. <clears throat> it's just stuff here. Whatever that is. Steel helmet. Okay. Two headed creature. Heavy helmet spiked on the outside. Prisoner's helmet. Crafting part. What else we got? Yeah, we've already seen that. So there was a note behind the brick in the wall. <laughs> Old barrel. No, I mean, it's not going to be in a prison cell anyway. Uh, oh, should I kick... <laughs> If I kick the barrel, it might hurt my leg. Nothing? Oh, we got some trash and an apple. Contains... Five ink. Use food to regain health. Wow. Uh, oh, here's health. Yeah, restores one heart. Right. Okay, well, yeah, let's do that. Um, and then, how do you, yeah, let's click out of there. <coughs> okay, so we've, it's pretty much all that there is in here, looks like. Oh, there's another note. Causes unpredictable mutations. Unpredictable. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. A lockpick sure would come in handy right about now. Kick the door down. Step away. Let's try a lockpick would come in handy. I'm sure I had a lockpick or something like one at least. Continue. I need to go back to reality and check my apartment. Okay. Hold to return to the real world. All right. Well, yeah, this is this is weird, um, but I mean, it's a bit interesting, you know. Um, from what I understand, it we're there's a book here. We're reading the book, going into the book's world. Uh, we're going to find a potion, supposedly, and we're going to bring it back. To the real world, we're going to put it inside this thing here. As far as I know, that is what we're doing. Uh, take all, okay, so that's our lock picks there. Um, yeah, well that, that's all we need to do here, I think. So this is some different kind of game, sure. <laughs> uh, okay, use a lockpick. Open the door. Alright. What the... 
the looks like a bullet hole. Nice one, Sherlock. Uh, <laughs> what? Who are you? What? Take your new partner along with you, or doubt him. Um, well, I mean, I've got no reason to doubt him, I guess. Wait. So it's this capsule that's talking to me. I guess so. I mean, he's supposed to be dead, so. So, yeah, it's got to be this thing here, or whatever's inside it, that's talking to me. What should I do next? Look more carefully at the character's cage, we'll leave. Uh, let's look more carefully at the cage. Take the cage off your neck and start examining it again. What's wrong? The cage reminds me of something. You turn it over and over in your hand so you haven't got that. Your shackles where they're sticking out of your rolled up sleeves. Made from the same metal as my shackles. What does that mean? I'm not sure, but I think that since this metal keeps my power contained, it's also keeping you from merging with the book. Merging, yeah. Character goes into a book, they become part of it. I can get out, but it's difficult even for me. An ordinary character wouldn't be able to be able to. Serial number. Alright, well, what should I do next? Look around. Well, I mean, that's what I'm doing anyway, but we got a letter down, a sign, a door, a door, another sign, door, sign, a key. Looks like it wants me to go to the key. It's kind of glowing and flashing over there. What it signs there. All right. So that is a cell door. Well, I mean a cell. <clears throat> right. So I mean, it reads as if the people inside these cells, the people who they've tested the a potion on, um, this one says something about full or immortality has not been achieved, so the potion didn't work with him. 
and I mean it's uh, yeah it, none of them have, have worked uh, searing steam so it's going to be hot then isn't it so I'm not going to try and grab it but touch the key with one finger possibly try that Okay. Ouch. Oh no, it fell through the grate. Why did you do that? Uh, I do not know. <laughs> that was the only option that I had apart from burning my whole hand. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so this thing was trying to say that it already knows the, the the book word for word start to finish and it can it knows of like traps and things and then <laughs> he looked at this dead character over here and thought well okay so how come he's dead then <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let's have a quick look in here. A giant skeleton. You may drag some objects around. Okay, so we can drag those around. Got a small barrel over there. Uh, yeah, we might as well take all that. I mean, I don't know if there's a limit to how much you can carry, but... Yeah, we'll just pick up everything we can find. Papers, print papers. <sighs> Nothing else around here. Could pull the cable out of the wall. Uh, yes. Well, I I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it for now. Um, yeah. It, I get the feeling that this game's gonna have. Uh, what do you call it? You know, like it. It puts a lot of, kind of like traps, but, you know, that, that kind of idea where it's to see how far you want to kind of push things, you know, that you know may be bad, but you just do it anyway. <laughs> and, then, and then something bad happens. Chewed straight through. Yeah, what was this guy? This was, I think this was the one that... Or was it? I don't know. Leads down somewhere. Could be something heavier. The counterweight grey would have on the other end. 
Um, use a crowbar, use prisoner's helmet. Let's try the helmet. Alright, what do we get? Okay, well it's probably alright. So it was basically trading one thing for something else. Uh, what else we got here? Papers. Okay. Right. So who was that guy? That was all known materials. So that's why he was eating the the beard. Uh, this one is the one that um, he didn't quite get immortality. Put your ear to the wall. This is a sledgehammer job. Kick the wall. It's always about kicking something, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of, uh, what's this? What's that mean? Oh, no. Yeah, that won't actually work. Because I don't have... I've got a mouse button 4 and 5. I don't think I have a mouse button 3. Yeah, I can't change it either. What about keyboard and mouse? Okay, so I could use this, which... What's that going to do? Okay, so it just zooms in, basically. All right. No big deal. I mean, I could probably just click it just to zoom in anyway, so... No? You can't move around when you zoomed in. Actually, I can't move around at all anymore. Okay. Maybe that's weird. Um, okay, here we go. They, they got it working again. Uh, oh man, must be something to do with the dead zones on the gamepad or something. No, oh man, it was working and then. Oh, I get it. It's, yeah, it's not a... He doesn't walk unless you click on something. I get it. Hey, what happened? Weird. 
I mean, I could just use gamepad if I wanted, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I think I'll stick with uh, keyboard and mouse for the moment. So I've got to go and talk to a neighbour. Okay. Uh, yeah, for me ingredients, shell. Uh, yes. Looks like about it. So we got a door and we've got a ladder. Uh, let's try the. Hmm. I got this weird idea that the door's going to be locked. No? Okay. So the door wasn't locked. Let's try the ladder. I thought maybe the door would be locked. You've got to go down the ladder and then you get the key. It fell down, even though why it's right there, I don't know. You would expect this would probably be quite hot. Let's see if we can get it. Do I even need this key? It opens the front door, which is the only way up. You need it. Grab the key. Uh, I don't know. What? Ask for help?
Oh, no way. Okay, so we've lost the key again. Workbench. Couple of doors. No. weird game. Watch out. <laughs> uh, slash, drain, or stun. Stun all enemies, one damage to all. Drain 30 ink, one damage. So, I don't know what should I do. Let's Try and stun him. Alright, now what? Eh? Hey? Uh. Not in the text. to the cell block main entrance papers yeah I mean I guess like we're, we're running low on ink right so I guess we just go in here and I don't know maybe we got to go to that workbench but I'm guessing we just turn there's some of the stuff here into ink to get our ink back up.
So maybe I should do that now. Oh, I can make tools here. Well, okay, so how do we do that? I guess it's only going to allow us to use it when we actually need to. Well, let's try clicking on the main entrance. Try using a lockpick or right because we don't have the key yet, do we? It fell through. Testing area. Well, is he actually tied to the chair? I mean, possibly. Looks like it, doesn't it? Gun case missing a gun. Okay, so someone supposedly got a gun on them. Okay, previous test subjects all deceased. Shot up war. Oh, okay. Right, so basically he must be injecting them with the potion of immortality and then shooting them with the gun to see if they survive or not. That can be ingredient, workbench, nothing on me, oh, there's something there, perhaps. A raised ladder, huh? Maybe lowered from above, okay. Tools, take okay, all. Component, take okay, all. Prisoner. Don't drink any more of your crap. Talk to
orange ball. Uh, no. Uh, that wouldn't occur to you. Um, I do not know. How did you end up here? All right, well, we've got some more ingredients. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to use the workbench. So I guess we're just going to either go down the stairs or go down the ladder. Um, Uh, I suppose we could try, wait, ladder down, not ladder. Yeah, well, I mean, it's... Oh, okay, so that just ends up here anyway. Um... I mean, it's weird, and in that, in that way it's intriguing, but... Yeah, we're not actually really doing much in the way of gameplay, are we? Uh, I mean, we're picking up a lot of junk, but that's about it, really. Junk and talking. Yeah. All right. So, either we use the workbench to try and create a crowbar, or it allows us to create other things. Let's have a look.
Okay. Um, crowbar. So you need tools and you need crowbar parts. Go. All right. Lockpick. We already have a lockpick, so we don't need to craft another one. Uh, pliers. We are missing these. Probably because we just use them to create a crowbar. Bottle of ink. Bottle plus ink. Melting. Okay, so we can melt all this junk. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, we don't need any of that, so let's melt it. Alright, so now we can craft a bottle of ink. Alright. And now I presume that you drink that to restore ink. Stale bread. Right, so yes, that's work. And the crowbar. Okay. So I think that's the only way we can go. Because we've got, there's one way that was a a main entrance but we need the key the key's gone down so we've got to go down crystal Use the crowbar to grab the crystal. Try using ink. Uh, let's try the crowbar. Alright. Uh, what about using the ink? Can we... Wait, you let a drop of your... Blood ink fall into the bars. What is his name, Roderick? The <laughs> uh, <laughs> letter H in it. <laughs> yeah, you're old. Partners did. Um, no, nothing there. Uh, ladder back up. Door. Right, so we've got. Yeah, we've got another crystal. Let's go to the door. We've got to find the key anyway. There's a key. Well, it can't pull through anymore. Great, it's at the bottom. Something feels off. Pick up the key or don't pick up the key. Hmm.
Yeah, but there was something down here, you know. So I could turn around and go to the exit. But we don't have the potion. So I think we have to find the potion. Yeah, you can't just tell them to walk, but if you use the gamepad, you can. So it's like... Ooh. You've got basically two different gameplay styles. You can play it with the mouse like a point-and-click adventure in a way. But you can't just tell them to walk anywhere you like. Or you could play it like uh, with a gamepad and, and walk around like a um, action adventure game, I guess. You'd have to walk up to things probably and then press the button when you're standing right next to them. See, so with the mouse, I have to actually find something, click on, click on them, and then he'll walk. Whereas with the gamepad, if I walk over, see, I get close enough to something. Um, a barrel, and then be to take all yeah so i mean you can play it with a gamepad or you can play it with your mouse um well keyboard and mouse i guess So yeah, it just depends uh, what style you like, basically. Crate, can't open those, so let's look in the crate. Okay, nothing too out of the ordinary. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to go into the uh, foreign symbol, I don't know, or status, okay, so it's going to be for melting ink, um, so at 10, 40, another one there, usually you make a bottle of ink at about 100, <sighs> so I think I'm just going to go ahead, unless we go back to the, yeah, let's just continue on, go okay, this way, Could be the name of the alchemist. Okay. 
Wow, this could be a little bit more difficult. It does one damage, this does two to three. So if we're lucky, it'll do three and we'll wipe out one of them. Good. Okay. Then it's their turn, obviously. So now it's my turn. We'll try that again. Okay, no such luck. Oh, they missed. All right, let's go for a drain. That's one damage, because all this one's got left, but we'll give me 30 ink. Okay, that's good. Now I just need to deal with him. We'll try for a slash. Okay. So we'll just do a drain to finish him off. Take four. Uh, we asked about five of ashes there. Yep, there's more stuff that we can turn into ink. Chest. Can't lift this. We can start use a lock pick. Use the crowbar. Um, let's try the lock pick. Alright, sweet. Jewels, tools, right, so we could actually craft something now. You go back to the workbench. Um, okay, nothing in there. Yeah, oh, found something in one of these. Alright, that's about it. Um, well, let's go back and I'll, I'll craft something else. We can craft fires and I might as well, um, yeah, I might as well melt some more of this stuff. We've got 31. Uh, how would I get that? Let's see, five, seven, get two, seven, seven, fourteen, yes. 7, 14, 20, 1, 20, 20, 19. Okay, that would work. 14, 19, 7. We can't just do things individually. Uh, we have to melt the whole lot. Oh, that's pity. But we got a. Um, a bottle of ink out of it. And I can eat the bread. Put me back to full health. Uh, we still have a bottle. Okay. Alright, well, let's go see if we can find that potion. Oh, 
this is um wait a minute no this is okay well, we haven't found the potion i think we're gonna have to um leave perhaps perhaps the alchemist isn't here Take out the key you found. All right. Okay, wait a minute, let me see. What, what's the exit door? Yeah, I don't think we've been here. Right, let's look through here. Okay, so here's the laboratory. Possibly we might find the potion here. Wow, it's a lot of work for you choose, you know. So that one just be a crack in my way. Hole in the wall. We left the jail while we were playing around with the key. He's on page 84 now. Guide to making acid. Green, salt, blue, sulfur, red, lead. Water unknown. <sighs> Notes on salt. Never start with salt. Never end with salt. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is going to be one of um, a kind of puzzle in that. Um, I've done the puzzle like this before, something, th this kind of style of puzzle, I should say. So never, I'll just make some notes here, never start on salt, never end on salt. Okay, so salt's going to be somewhere in the middle. Lead, lead, lead or lead? So we'll say lead before sulfur is rock. Stray drops of Acid seem to have eaten away most of this page. Okay. So. All right. So that means that if there's drops of acid on the page, that means the acid must have been made. So you would think that, you know, lead must therefore be. Uh, the final ingredient. Okay, 
So I think we can probably make lead if that's what we want to do. Pile of alchemy ingredients, so what we don't get anything from there. Let's look at this one. Uh don't know what I'm gonna pick anything up from there either. Nothing out here. No, no, we've got a ladder. Alright, that's probably the ladder that remember we found a ladder on a wall and it said it was a raised ladder and you can only lower it from being up the top. And then there's a bed there. I haven't been picking on any bed. Uh, let's try, we can, can we lower that? Block by what? A metal. Okay, there you go. So now we can use that ladder to get down or to come up this way. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of tempted to make acid. I don't know why we need to make it, but a puddle of acid there. What's this laptop say? Examine the desktop. Okay. Maybe he's infatuated with her, perhaps? Because he was talking about giving leftover stuff to her. Doesn't matter, open the browser. First tab, second tab, search history. Bremen burial sites. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking, maybe. Okay, so he would have used the acid to escape. I guess we're going to have to make some acid for something. Uh, perhaps it's to open up a door that we couldn't open. I'm not sure if there was a door we couldn't open, but... Um, so let's try and make the acid. Right, so it's about getting it in the right order. So according to my notes, we said never start on salt, never end on salt. Lead before sulfur is wrong. Lead must be the final ingredient. So it would be uh, sulfur um, and then salt and then lead. There you go. And he probably put that in a file. Okay, well it's in a... <sighs> it's 
some kind of a vase or something, we'll say. <laughs> um, okay, maybe we go down this later. Let's, let's have a look. Ah, oh, we're back to this guy again. Um, I don't know, should I talk with him? I'm not sure if I should talk with him or not. <laughs> right, yeah, so I don't, it looks like he's not going to tell me anything new. Okay, so that was uneventful. No head. Knock the wall down with a sledgehammer. Okay, no problem. Be hidden. That can't be the alchemist, can it? Must be somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> <Jail> door. <coughs> 
<coughs> How come it, all this stuff here happens? Weird. But, I mean, it is a weird game. Tools, take all. Yeah, well, I don't think I have anything else to craft at the moment. Oh, we found some more bread. That's interesting. Um, yeah. Materials. Oh, Oh, no way! Okay. Well, I'm not too sure. Um, if I kill these things, are they just going to keep coming back up? Or is there a limit? I mean, obviously we got to kill the big one, don't we? Fingers crossed the little one will keep missing me. Wow. <laughs> Can I drink the potion? That's not fair. Why wouldn't it let me drink the potion? I can only drink one potion a turn, apparently. I mean, not drink one, but, but I mean, you know, use one of these items to turn. <sighs> okay, um, slash. Well, we didn't die, but holy cow. Have a look. Nothing else here. 
pile of ashes, okay. Yeah, I better check the other one first. Right. So it's all the food that we have. Uh, I mean, there's no save or anything, is there? No. Right, so we've only got the two doors to go through here. Exit or door. Hmm. Um. Why don't I just wake up? Doesn't that work? Wouldn't that work if I just wake up? I mean, I've got the... Oh, I don't have the bottle of... Oh, I thought we might have picked up a bottle of invisibility by now. Right, let's go this way. Director's office. Bullet casings. And the dead man. So, somebody shot him. Should I have an email client? Hmm. I feel like, you know, the game might screw us over if we take too long. So, folder of papers, Let's see if there's anything important. Okay, so we don't know about that, yeah. Uh, should I or shouldn't I take a report? I don't know. Open email, let's have a look. The Alchemist, what?
All right, that's about everything then. Let's um, let's head out. So yeah, yeah, the Optimus he must have gone out through the exit. Somebody crashed. <laughs> right, what do I do? Risk it all and split the potion in half, or take the whole potion and leave. Um, damn, that's a tough choice. Um, I don't know if this guy still has a gun on him. Like, maybe he could 
shoot me. I don't know. I'm going to try to take the whole potion and leave, I think. <laughs> oh, it's not going to let me. What? Uh, leave with the full potion or split up the potion. Uh, oh man. I'm gonna leave with the full patient. Shut the lid, that's what it gets. Not my room, but actually, that could be coming from my room, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, key. Mm -hmm. I mean, it sounds like it's coming from in there, but it could be coming from in my room, yeah. Okay. A walker carrying a character in a cage around his neck. should I do?
uh, the book. I don't have the book. The book is with the courier. <laughs> but how do I know if I have the that thing with me? I don't know. Oh, there it is. But the character only knew about that particular book. He's not going to know about other books. Okay, so now we've got shield ability. That could come in handy. Well, I don't know actually, <laughs> because of how the combat works. Um, yeah. See, this stun only stuns an enemy, kind of like, it, it only basically stops them from attacking you for one turn, it's not like a, if it stopped them from doing something for two turns, then I can see how this shield could Come in handy. It's something about the fact that you know everything you do here, you use it, and then the enemy's going to get a turn. Apart from this one, it stops seeing me from attacking, but you don't actually gain any benefit from it, I don't think. I mean, you do one damage, they do no damage. This one here, you do no damage, they do no damage. Yeah. There has to be some kind of, like, whether you can upgrade the stun or. Yeah, I, I just can't see how it's much of a benefit. Writer's Police Department. Uh, have I selected to publish? No, I, I don't know. Did I say yes? What are, what are those other guys do? They... They were going to help me out, but then 
I kind of organised something for them to get the, remove the shackles. Um, I was going to get them Yeah, I um, I don't know, should I say yes or no here? Very well then, give me the publisher's name they don't have an address yet, do they? Tomorrow. Have I... Oh, I'm going to say no. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> uh oh. Saying what a load of fresh. Uh, okay. Oh, we've got another letter. Apparently. At home tomorrow from 8 until 8. Really? So we've got some new furniture coming. Got another book. Right, shut the door. Okay, someone's come in and steal my shit. What do we got here? Solid work, even though it seemed like it would have the imprint of a publishing project. There's going to be some big kind of item. Probably the hammer, look. The spark hammer. Infiltrate the book. Extract the hammer of Thor.
Thanks for playing. All right. Yeah, well, I mean, it's definitely different, that's for sure. And it's definitely got a uh, weirdness about it. <laughs> Oops. Um, okay. Uh, so it's kind of quit out, but I can quickly load it back up again. So um, you'll be able to see the menu while I finish the video up. But um, yeah, definitely, like I, it was, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, Free me out as to uh, what the game was going to be going to be like, or going to be about. Um, so, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't mind it. It's it's kind of slow going. Um, if you play it as keyboard and mouse, you can play it as a gamepad. If you play it as a gamepad, it's it's a bit like a um, kind of like an action adventure, I guess. You walk around and you just press the the A button when you walk up something that you can pick up, basically, if you want to pick it up and or examine it. Um, if you're using keyboard and mouse, then it becomes uh, a little bit like a hidden object uh, point and click adventure so yeah two different ways that you can play it uh, depending on what you prefer basically um, but yeah I don't mind it I used to play point and click adventures back in the old days but you know not not the style where you have to, where it's kind of like hit an object like this one, but um, where you basically, in the old days, you know, you basically would flick on the screen where you want the character to walk. Uh, this way it doesn't quite work like that with the keyboard and mouse. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't mind it. It's a slow pace though, so. It's not going to appeal to everyone. Um, I quite like the kind of unique world and atmosphere and just the way things work. I mean, it was just completely weird and out there. But yeah, I found it interesting. Um, So I'll leave it at that, uh, if you want to try it yourself you can find the demo on the Steam store page, it's called The Book Walker, and um, yeah the combat, it's a uh, turn based combat, rather simple kind of uh, combat. There isn't much room there for strategy and tactics. Uh, like I was trying to say earlier, um, it's basically you have a turn, enemy has a turn, you have a turn, enemy has a turn. This, the stun doesn't actually stun him long enough to give you a, um, like, enough turns to come up with some kind of strategy there it's it's basically like a, a pause button for the enemy 
So he doesn't attack you for one turn. Uh, the only benefit I could see from that would be if you had to heal and increase your ink. Then you could stun him and you could probably do that. Because you could, when you stun him, you could heal and then you could use the ink on your next turn. And then you could attack him. So you could do it like that. But it, yeah, apart from that, I don't think there was really much room to do any other kind of strategy from it. Uh, maybe if they could increase the stun, so it's like a two-turn stun. Uh, you know, you could get an upgrade, perhaps. <laughs> uh, that, that would be good. Uh, um, in that regard, you could use it more as a... Uh, attacking, you know, you could build a s attacking strategy from it. Um, yeah, the defense... The shield, uh, yeah, okay, it blocks two damage, but then if you had multiple enemies going to hit you, it's not maybe that useful because you're actually stopping yourself from doing an attack when you use it, which, you know, <laughs> you're not going to get an advantage in the future because you're still going to have the same enemy number of enemies attacking you. Um, so anyway, that's the combat anyway. Um, story was, you know, apart from it being weird and kind of out there, uh, there were funny moments to it. So it was it was quite nice to read. Um, so yeah, no problem. On that front basically I mean it seemed like when you had a choice you had to choose from the dialogue you'd make a choice that would be on screen and then it would actually do the dialogue line of you actually speaking it and that was a little bit weird uh, I'm used to having dialogue choices where you choose a choice and then that's it, you know. Um, so having having it kind of uh, do the dialogue afterwards it was it was doubling up, you know. So it was kind of it caught me off guard at first. I was I was thinking, wait, is that his response to my choice? You know, like the the other characters' response, um, which yeah didn't make sense. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a design choice of how they've made it. Um, but yeah, it's just weird because I, I don't really um, usually it's that's not how it works uh, in other games that I play. But I'm not a um, a person who plays a lot of visual novels or. Uh, something I, I, I'm yeah. Usually, I tend to stay away from visual novels. Um, so, uh, you know, maybe if you are into visual novels, then you would find uh, perhaps it's not as uncommon as what it is for me. But um, anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.